Hi, welcome, Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to add additional hard drive to your Dell Wastro 3681. So if you're interested to add additional storage capacity, having like a secondary drive, then this video is going to walk you through step by step on how to upgrade or add additional hard drive in your desktop. All right. So here I have the one terabyte 3.5 inch hard drive and in this desktop here it only runs at 256 gigabyte SSD drive. So I need more capacity, more storage, therefore I'll walk you through step by step on how to add the additional hard drive in it. Alright, so first thing you like to do is to identify your desktop. Uh, make sure that you have the Dell Vostro and this is the 3681 model. Alright, the first thing I like to do is to unscrew the two black screw here on the side. And then you can slide the panel to your left. Alright, so once you have removed that side panel here, as you can see that this is the entire desktop. So the next step is to go ahead and remove the front panel. There are three clipper on the side, top. It's on this here. This is the medium, the middle part of it, and the very bottom. So once you have removed that three clipper, then the front panel would just come right off. Once you have removed the front panel, let's go ahead and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. We'll be removing some of the screws here. So remove that screw. second screw and there is a third screw do I need to remove the third screw no you only need to remove two screws I apologize the one on the top and the one at the bottom okay so to remove it once you remove the two screws lift it up at 45 degree angle and then slide it out to your left now this is your main hard drive sorry this is your secondary drive and you're ready to install make sure that you install this direction here because we do need to match the two screws to lock it in. Now, Dell does not provide the screws for you. Therefore, you do need to find extra screws at home or maybe buy the screws all from Amazon. Okay, what I'll do is I'll link them down in the description below. Go check it out where you can buy the hard drive from as well as the screws in this process. Now, once you have put in the two screws, all you have to do is to make sure you slide at 45 degree angle back to your desktop matching the two little triangle here okay slide it in and close it down just let it sit down once it's installed get the two screws back in so you do need to secure the bracket this is the hard drive bracket put in the two screws secure down the hard drive now you're not ready yet because you do need to have the power this is the power cable you need to have the power cable insert into your hard drive okay and also the SATA cable so here comes the SATA cable okay insert into the hard drive so make sure you match that little gap right there so let me show it to you again this is the power if you look at the power carefully there's a little extra gap right there that goes into this side of the hard drive and then the SATA cable has that little gap here on this side would have to match the hard drive on this angle right there okay so once you have installed the SATA cable and the power cable, you are pretty much all set and ready to go. And you have one final step you need to do. Of course, you are going to um, install the front bracket. Let's go ahead and match it down here and then close it in. It's very simple as that. Just press it down, have the side panel, and slide it back in put the two screws in and you should be all set now you just install the hard drive 
that doesn't necessarily mean it is ready to be used you still have to go to um, this management and initialize the new hard drive the new hard drive has not initialized yet so you need to initialize in order for it to be working and recognized by the computer how do you do that it's very straightforward um, turn on the computer all right log in to your regular screen and then at the bottom left corner you see that little windows right click on that windows icon and go to disk management in the disk management window that pops up you're going to see one that says c drive and you're going to see a disk one uh, that is a black line running across it so that 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 thing right there you need to right click and initialize the disk make sure you're initializing the right hard drive which is the one terabyte that i install for my purpose but for your case you could be two terabyte three four whatever terabyte you install make sure you find and in initialize the right hard drive all right that's all i have for you if you find this video is helpful please smash the like button for me i really appreciate you for doing that if you haven't subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe i really uh, and do not forget to hit the notification bell thank you and check the link down below where you direct you to the website for the screws that you need tools that you need and the hard drive that you need thanks for watching until next time bye now